Welcome to the Kubernetes dashboard demo. The Kubernetes dashboard provides us with a web interface to manage most aspects of our Kubernetes applications. It allows us to visualize our resources and to interact with the cluster to create, modify, and terminate applications. In this video, we demonstrate how to enable the Kubernetes dashboard add-on, which in latest Minikube releases comes disabled by default. In order to take advantage of most features of the dashboard, including resource utilization information such as CPU and memory, we will enable the metric server add-on as well. With Minikube started, let's list its add-ons and their status. As we see, the dashboard is disabled. and the metric server is disabled as well. So let's enable the metric server and then the dashboard. With the Minikube add-ons enable metric server. And then we run the same command for the dashboard. Now let's confirm that both add-ons have been enabled with Minikube add-ons list. Now we see both the dashboard enabled and the metric server enabled as well. To open the dashboard in the default browser on our workstation, let's run the Minikube dashboard command. This will open a new tab in our default browser. At the top of the dashboard, we can switch between namespaces. While the navigation panel to the left allows us to switch between various API object types. By selecting nodes, pods, or any of the controllers. We display CPU and memory utilization graphs enabled in the dashboard add-on by the metric server add-on for these object types. Each view allows us to access details and configuration properties specific to the displayed object. In addition, the dashboard allows us to deploy applications and create Kubernetes API objects. By clicking on the plus sign at the top right corner, we switch to the create interface with options to create objects from literal YAML or JSON content. From a file we can upload, or we can just create an app with just a few clicks and a minimum amount of typing. So in this video, we explored the Kubernetes dashboard and its key features for managing the cluster. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.